Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. So we find ourselves out in the southwest area of the map. Let me show you. We're down here. So here's the Wrecking Crew uh, stronghold. Just to our east is actually the prison where the Red Scorpion Militia um, have their base of operations. This is actually the old uh, Ranger HQ. And then like 15 years ago or so, we moved to the Ranger Citadel. Now, you can go to the prison and and get through it successfully at around uh, level 12 is generally when you do that. Now, the storyline takes you to the Real Nomads camp. If you recall, there was a snake squeeze in, basically an alcohol uh, dealer or distributor, whatever you want to call him, um, that was traveling with Ace, and he's supposedly up in the Real Nomad camp. So the storyline takes you there next, and then it's set from a level perspective that makes sense. Um, you know, but we have access to these other areas like Darwin and the prison, and these are higher level locations that don't necessarily follow the storyline. We would essentially be skipping ahead. Now, I don't think I'm going to go to the prison right now. I just wanted to tell you that, yes, it's right here, and yes, we could go to it. What I am going to do, however, is uh, we're going to uh, level up some of our stats. I was waiting for everyone to be level 10. Everyone is level 10 now, which means I have an attribute point. So we're going to do that. I'm going to talk about some changes that I'm making uh, in the team based on information that I didn't have before starting Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. So just bear that in mind. So let me let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've got uh, I've got Tack, who they've made. Well, I mean, he's he's pretty decent, actually. Um, and his skill distribution and stuff makes sense. Like, so he's got six bladed weapons, he's got five demolitions, and then he has the perks that make sense. Improvised explosives, long arm, self-defense, and since he is somebody I'm considering keeping in the group, even from the onset, it seems kind of a waste now with Bear for me to pick up the various explosive perks, which I was going to do, and then keep raising his demolition skill. What I may do, and I think I'm going to do, is just forego increasing demolitions anymore on Bear. And yes, it's a it's a little bit of a waste, these points I put in. But again, I didn't know how TAC was specced. I, I, I didn't know that he was going to come with like these perks already. Which makes a big difference to me. Um, since he has good perk choices, and he's very capable in combat, there's just no reason to double up. So, instead, what I'll do... Um, is that, yes, I've lost a couple of points on Bear from a skill point perspective, but that's okay. The way I'm looking at it is that now I've got some additional sort of found perks because if I don't take the explosive related ones like long arm and, and things like that, I'll be able to get different kinds of things that are more focused on making him just that much better of a sniper. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, tribute points. Again, you get these once every 10 levels. What do we want to grab? Well, probably more awareness. Can I increase my combat initiative? Yeah, it is. Do I care about that? Not Actually, not really on this character. The more I think about it, him having a little bit of a lower combat initiative isn't a bad thing because then he goes after everyone else and then he can use his shotgun to finish off targets, which is exactly what I want. I actually think I'm going to dump it into his charisma. Yeah. To increase leadership radius? Yeah, I think so. Or I could do awareness right now. And then start dumping it into Charisma. Okay, alright, I'm alright with that. Let's do that. Okay, let's see. Eve. Why do you have a negative? Why are you rolling with a negative awareness? Oh! Minus one awareness and plus five percent to hit. Eh. <laughs> Take that off. We don't need... Yeah. Yeah, that that's that's not worth it. <laughs> no. Okay, and what are we gonna do with you?
Well, we could do... She's never going to be fast. So I don't know that speed matters. We could do coordination. And then finish off with another action point. Next level. Or pick up another... Yeah, actually, this is better. Let's pick up some more awareness. Increases her combat initiative. Increases her vision range. We'll grab another one at 20, and then we can focus on coordination. Yep, okay. Lock that in. Bear. I might give him a four intelligence. I wasn't planning to do that, but the extra skill points will come in handy and kind of fix that uh, boo-boo that I made with the demolition skill. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. It's worth it. That's a lot of additional skill points over the rest of the span of the game. Okay. And then Christy. Hmm. That's going to be awareness, right? Yeah. Okay, commit that. Well, actually, hold on. Or we could do... Plus one action point. Let's do that for now. We can go after awareness on the next level up. Okay, and then these guys don't have anything. Okay. What about skills? Okay, looks like we're good. Now, on tack, I spent a ton of money, like 500 something bucks, and bought this combat knife. And then his pickaxe, I disassembled instead of selling it. I got a grip tape and attached that. So now he's got um, a weapon that does 20 to 28, 44% crit chance with a four armor penetration and only costs him two AP to use. Yeah. And then he has self-defense plus one armor at close range with bladed weapons, which is kind of sweet. And he's, and he's wearing combat armor, which he came with. So, yeah, that's not bad. So what are we doing down here in the southwest part of the, the area? Well, this is kind of a, a little bit of an extension of that. What are you going to do the first two hours of gameplay? And in that guide, one of the things that I explained was that you could come down here into this area between the Wrecker Strong, Stronghold and the prison and you can sort of farm for XP and some additional equipment and whatnot. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now, just for a little bit. It's convenient because there's an oasis right here and you can just sort of walk around down here. Oh, the abandoned railway. OK, now we're not going to go in there because we're not exactly ready for that. Stop doing that noise. God. Yeah, you don't want to go into the abandoned railway until you're, uh, you're quite a bit tougher. Yeah. Some nasty stuff in there. I won't tell you what it is because it would spoil it. All right, here we go. Here's our first contestants. Well, actually, technically second because I did have one random encounter like this right before I started recording and I wiped the floor with them. And I'll show you what kind of equipment you get off of them in just a second. It's pretty good. Now, if you're just starting off... Let's say you're like level, you've worked your way up to say level five or six. You can come down here and you can, you can, especially on lower difficulties or even on Supreme Jerk if you play it right, you can come down here and successfully do some of these random encounters. And the reason you're doing them is not really so much for the XP, which is nice, um, but it's more for the equipment that you can get off these guys. Because you can get things like, um, you know, upgraded pistols, you can get, um, you know, let me back up a little bit. You can get uh, M4s, which is nice, especially if you don't have any yet. And even if you have to, you know, spend some medical supplies or whatever, you know, even if it sort of, even if there's an opportunity cost, I guess, to the acquisition of some of the, like, better weapons and whatnot, when you're starting off, I think it's worth it to do it. Because if you can pull it off, um, it's gonna, it's gonna make your life a lot easier everywhere else if you got upgraded weapons. I mean, I've had a few challenges so far in this LP, but not bad, right? I don't think I've ever been really in risk of losing a fight, and the re primary reason for that is because 
I did some, you know, I leveled up and got ready before I even started the story missions. And then, you know, that local merchant was nice enough to quote unquote donate to me. Uh, and that made things easier, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's say hello to that guy. Oh, that was nice. Shot him in the back, so we got tactical positioning bonus. That was nice. Okay, let's see. I want to try to shoot this guy in the legs. Or in the arms. Let's try doing that. No, no dice. Okay, so ambush. Let's see, who's next? You are, huh? Okay, well, we'll set ambush. And that guy can run, man! It's the Hussein Bolt of Rail Thief Cutters, huh? Out of range. Okay, that's fine. Set ambush. Move back. We're not going to use an energy weapon on him. Okay, so let's see. Do we attack to kill that guy or this? I guess kill this guy. This is going to be overkill. Oh, uh, well, we'd have to hit, though. There we go. Four oh, oh, that was nasty. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, no fuss, no muss. And let's take a look and see what these guys have on them. Okay, so we got a small med pack. That's nice. And another small med pack. Didn't get any weapons? Maybe this guy's got a weapon for us. No, but he's got ammo for us. Alright, so that wasn't the best example because I was kind of hoping they were going to have some weapons on them. But it's a good example of... Here's a fight that essentially cost us nothing, because we got more back in value than what we had to put out to take him out. Not to mention the XP, right? Let's see if we could get... We can get another fight. Oh, come to me, stupid. There we go. Come to me, dangerous raiders. Oh, this ought to be pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty good map for us. Not so much for them. All right, let's see. Bear. Let's get set up before we try to do anything. Range? Oh, you are. Mm, it's probably going to be sight block there, right? No, we have it. Okay, good. Shoot him. Okay, we'll set ambush. <laughs> That's nice, that perk we've got, Watchmen. Yeah, no negative to ambush shots. It's pretty sweet. Let's see, should I move up? I guess I can. Move up to like, say right here, and ambush with the shotgun. Uh-oh, lost control? Really? Guess I need to up my leadership skills some more. Take a shot? I think not, we'll just set ambushes. Yeah, here, set over there, ambush, ambush. Attack's gonna get lit up. Well, not as bad as I thought. 
All right, go kill this guy, Tack. Oh, that was nice. Chopped his arm off. He's like, no! <laughs> Comment anim animations in this is like the best part of the game. All right, what do you got for us? Give us some stuff. There you go. So we got an M4. That's what I was talking about. Stuff like this. Another med pack. Basic trauma kit. So now, imagine that you're like level 6, level 7, something like that. You don't have any really better weapons. Maybe the best thing you've got is like whatever the the M. Maybe you got like a M1 or something like that. And then you pick up something like this. It's going to be a big upgrade for you. You can also get things like this off of them too. These pretty solid handguns. Makarov. Or Markov or whatever. It uses 38 ammo, which is super cheap. Yeah. You need a heal? Nah, you're fine. Let's go exploring a little bit here. Dangerous Raiders! Here, let's go up there. Oh, fight begins. Alright. You miss, slacker. Here. Let's move everyone, like, up here. Or are we st oh, we're stuck on the ramp? Really? This is frustrating. You can't move past, you can't... Uh. Limitation of the system, unfortunately. Keep running, dude. I'll go around this way. Yeah, you can't push back or change the order or anything, so it's kind of frustrating. And what? You can't see that guy? No, you can't. Alright, move there then. See, like, tack here, I gotta have him run this way because I can't get past my own guys. You can't be like, hey, move out of the way! Like, you're like, no, no, that's too difficult for us. Get out of the way. What? Hmm. Should I take that shot? 40%? I guess I can. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Move back down here. Alright, let's start moving on this guy. I guess we can move here. Take a shot at that guy. Weapon jammed. Sucks to be you. Set ambush there to guard. And... Get down there. Want him out in the open, that's exactly what he'd be if I ran down there. Alright, go here. He shouldn't have line of sight. The enemies, that is. Come on, shift the camera around. Hmm. 
Really? Missed? Ooh, that sucked. Because we didn't kill this guy. Come on now. There we go. Now I'm going to have to spend resources on healing. Dang it. How dare they? How dare they? Twenty percent shot? Yeah, I don't think so. Nah, that's not even worth doing. Just slide over here like this and shoot the guy in the face. Hi. That fight was okay. We start off with a terrible positioning. Yeah. I mean, it's fine, but... Kinda suck getting spotted like that just as we walked in, right? Let's see, okay, so... One small med kit. That's good enough. Okay, what do we get here? Uh, got some stuff, right? Okay, bullets, junk, junk, and we got that med kit back. Okay, so that was nice. So, again, that was positive again on value, right? Because we picked up enough ammo to compensate for what we used, and we got experience, and even though we got hurt, we got a med pack to replace what we used. So, as long as you got fights like that, it's fine. Now, if we can just find the exit, yeah, that's going to be the... The, the challenge at this point. Exit. Back the way we came? Yes. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Well, I guess we should head towards the real nomad camp at this point. So that's what we're going to do. Yep. Oh, more dangerous raiders? You don't say. All right. Now oh, this is a little more straightforward. That's fine. We're fine. Okay, Angela, 43%, huh? All right. Oh, hi. <laughs> Back attack, so nice. Move up here. Oh, just a melee guy left? You're gonna have a bad day, dude. Seriously. Get him, Tack. That was pretty smooth. Now, give me some good stuff. Yep, another M4. There, here's some ammo for you. Already looted? No, oh, I didn't think so. All right. Okay, so let's take a look here. So this is what I've looted off of three fights. 
uh, in addition to some medical supplies. So one, two, three M4s, two Makarovs, or whatever you want to pronounce them as. Um, you know, quite a bit of ammo, which I've been handing to other people as I've gone along. I guess I better finish doing that. And then junk to sell. So, oh, basic travel kit here. Can I have that? So even if you just sold this stuff, uh, you can see how quickly this adds up. I mean, this is a lot of money. That's a one, two, three. That's like 500. We're looking at like 600 scrap right there from just a handful of fights. And I'm telling you, if you position yourself correctly, even without super upgraded weapons at like level six or seven, you can take on these fights down here. So, eh, just a suggestion. That's all my stuff is, though, is suggestions, right? I'm not saying I got the all the answers to everything that has to do with Wasteland 2 ever, but I got suggestions. <laughs> all right, here, let's go back out. See if we can make it up the real nomad camp. Now, the Rail Nomad Camp, the first time you do it, is kind of interesting. The second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time you do it, like I have, not as much. So what I may do with the Rail Nomad Camp is, uh, let's see, dangerous animals approaching. Now nah, we'll run from them. I don't really feel like fighting them. Um, what we may do with the Rail Nomad Camp is I'll, I'll make, you know, kind of various cuts or what have you in the videos up there. Kind of maybe kind of speed through dangerous raiders. Eh, now nah, let's keep going. To kind of get through the real nomad camp a little bit quicker. And there's a couple different ways to handle it. There's a, you know, quote unquote peaceful uh, resolution. Here we're going to go around to avoid radiation. Um, there's a peaceful resolution. And then there's a basically destroy one faction resolution. And I've always done the peaceful resolution in the past. And I can certainly, once I get to that point, I can link you to a video where I actually have what takes hours and hours to do. I've actually got it edited down. I think it's like a 20 minute video that shows you um, how to get a peaceful resolution between the two factions there. So if you want to do it that way, I'll still be able to show it to you, but I think I'm probably going to just shoot people in the face. Yeah, at least one faction, because I've never done that. Um, you know, and it seems kind of fun to me to do that. Oh, we weren't successful. Okay, all right, well, I guess we're doing another fight then. Where the heck are we? Oh, okay, I see where we're at. And the enemies are right there. Oh, that's kind of close, isn't it? All right, well, here. You get back here. Attack. Move right there. The bear down here. Okay. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Especially since this guy's flanked. All right, in this case, I will use a burst because I can't get two single shots. Just seems hardly worth it. There we go. What do you use it? Uh, pistol. Okay. Oh, you missed. You missed, and that means you're gonna die. Yep. Hmm. All right, move up. Slice that guy. Nice. And then, can you get that one? Nope. All right, back off. Well, that wasn't bad.
Another trauma kit, huh? Okay. Now, the reason I'm going around this way, the long way, is because I have radiation shoots that are worth um, two protection value. Unsuccessful. Dang it. I don't mind killing these guys. I just wanted to get over to the Rail Nomad camp. Anyway, that's why I'm doing uh, the long way around, is so that I'm only going through radiation one zones. Is this guy going to pat over here? No, he's not. I can't. I got a dude right there who could potentially be dangerous. I think what we'll do set bear in the corner over here like so let's move tack up a little bit like to here I can go behind him oh, it's hard to see with all these trees come here Eve Angela you good over here too no I don't want to look at her stuff I wanted to get over here don't be stupid There we go. Switch back to your standard shot, please. Thank you. Okay, slide over here. Set ambush. Nice shot, bear. Okay, let's see. Move up. You know what? Just set ambush, actually. Why she missed that shot? Hmm. All right, move over here. Ah, twelve percent. That's not even worth taking the shot. No, It'd just be a waste. Okay, come towards us. <laughs> Silly rail thief. What's he thinking? Nice. Oh, we got another promotion. Great. Let's do that real quick, shall we? Copy, Echo. Echo, congratulations, Echo One. You've done. So let's see. Skill points for. Yeah, I think it's time for some more leadership skill. Let's go ahead and grab that. Skills have been committed. Okay, so if I look at what's your what's your rogue chance now? Why am I missing it? I don't know. <laughs> I'll look at it later then, fine. 
be that way. No, I'm having a complete brain drain. Here it is. It's under inventory, because why wouldn't it be under inventory? Okay, rogue chance 0%, rogue chance 0%, rogue chance 0%, and there you have it. Very good. Okay, I've got my plus one barter thing on. Probably want to switch that to hard ass. There we go. So, four, four, three. We should be okay-ish for conversations. Guess ass is another skill I didn't plan on picking up, but it's fine. Live with it. Really? More dangerous raiders? Alright, fine. These guys are just determined. Yeah, to give us their stuff. And XP, good guy. Good guy, Raiders. Where are you guys? Oh, I see. I see you. Okay, well... to the outside. Crouch. Do you have a shot? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun just shooting him like that. Let's see. We move to cover for him. I don't think it's necessary. We'll just set ambush. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, you guys can just get out of line of sight, because I don't need you to fight. I just get shot from the side, really? A little surprised by that. Really? Alright, take cover then. Move over here. No line of sight. Okay, well, I guess we are moving. Okay, move back. Zack's gonna get beat up here a little bit, I think. Let me dodge that. Oh, like a champ! Nice! So, maybe something like... This? Oh, I hit one of them anyway. Actually, I should have stayed there. Would have messed up that guy's aim. Dang it. I wasn't thinking. Okay, go get rid of that guy. There we go. Those guys were a little tougher. Part of it was just the positioning, really. But man, look, I got messed up. I mean, I think we'll be all right. We have medical supplies, but <laughs> still. We got medical supplies. There we go. All right, let's see. Oh, we got a promotion too. That's nice. Okay, patch me up, please. There we go. 
All right, now let's call in for that promotion. Copy, Echo One. Echo One. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Thank you. We appreciate that. Now, let's see. Skill points, six. Probably some more assault rifle. Yeah, let's do that. Can't go wrong with some more weapon skill, right? Do, do, do. Please let me get to the Rail Nomad camp. There we go. Come on now. You can do it. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here, folks, and when we pick it up in the next one, we'll start exploring what we're gonna do here at the Real Nomad Camp. Like I said, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna go for the quote-unquote peaceful resolution this time. Nah, I've done that, plus I can show it to you anyway in a different video, so I think we'll probably just end up taking one faction side and then punching the other faction in the face. So hopefully you'll enjoy that and that you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.